So I came to present you uh, the SOS childhood, the first Romanian radio -tone. Actually, SOS worldwide said, let's do something for our 60th, uh, 60th birthday and do it just uh, through radio. And we took advantage of the situation and tried to do something that was never done before in Romania because we are boring. In, at Dreamcatchers, we like to do first things. So <laughs> we like to do that. So we did the first Radio Don and we did it in only one day. Of course, it was like around four months of uh, preparing for that big important day, but we did it. So. The World uh, Fundraising Campaign, as I told you, came from the SOS Childhood and the aim was to raise funds and raise the, uh, increase the, our awareness. Some statistics, uh, 70,000 kids are actually living right now without their parents and 30,000 kids in, are living in poverty. So we actually try to reach the, all the sections. So the solution was to find to have a one-day radioton, a premiere in Romania. The mechanism it was very simple: donate SMSs, you donate two euros, and the second uh, party was a website where you can uh, actually uh, in, uh, they, you were encouraged to. Uh, give us some, your, uh, some of your childhood moments via Facebook and uh, via webs uh, app. We had a target of uh, 50,000 euros and uh, we started to prepare the thing. We took a big partner, it was the second largest radio in Romania, it's called Europa FM. It was listened by 2 million people already. And uh, we had lots of endorsers, lots of people that were very known and were actually appropriate to the cause, like footballers, uh, TV stars that came to the radio station that day, talked about uh, the cause, supporting the cause, uh, next to it uh, also the kids. <clears throat> so we had uh, all day, on Europa FM talking about SOS childhood. And we had promos, interviews, interactive uh, ideas, uh, the special guests that came there and actually helped us out. And also we had uh, this on the, in the middle of the city on this uh, very large screen, the thank you <coughs> we got, uh, we, got uh, we thank you for uh, your donation. And of course, smartphone banners and Facebook. What uh, what did you we did after that day was to raise uh, fifty two thousand euros from twenty six thousand dollars, and uh, at the end at the end of the, that week we actually reached uh, 6,000 uh, 6, euros and it was uh, in the SOS world the first country that raised that money and had that uh, uh, media, <coughs> that great media value. I'm just going to show you some, uh, some pictures. Here is Christiana, she started the whole thing and <laughs> she <coughs> was telling me that in that day she stayed all day to the computer and on the phones with a team of 10 people and she changed around three shirts because she was sweating and everyone, <laughs> what, what is happening? The whole thing was to be active. Even though you are uh, preparing a campaign, you're launching it, the hard part has just begun. When you do a campaign, it's very important to be flexible and to actually receive feedback from the people and to see how big of a deal is for them. So you have to be flexible and react, uh, react to everything that is happening next to you. So the success keys was Europa FM. From that day on, Europa FM started to be number one because of our campaign. So they got back the media value that they spent on us 
and uh, the uniqueness and the innovation of the whole idea that it was just one day and you we concentrated on that and everyone got together to help us and uh, some paper clips people that actually talked about in the media and the press and everything some online we never used online banners we actually used only advertorials that actually write it well, very well about the cause so people can understand it better not just a, an advertising uh, point of view the website and the facebook page the screens in the middle of the city were pretty awesome and when you actually sent it uh, an sms the girl in the image thanked you <coughs> so it was very interactive and lots of people got together and just uh, sent uh, SMS and she thanked you so they, it was very interesting for them from that point on. Uh, we also had the only banners we used was on smartphones because it was a new thing in Romania back in 2009 so <coughs> it was a good thing they were never used for this purpose and um, Basically, I would love for you to understand uh, some things from what we are trying to do. Because here at Dreamcatchers, we always love <coughs> to share and let you do your own thing after. So the 10 uh, things to remember is to study the market, choose your partner very carefully and talk to him have a very nice relationship with, uh, with him. We actually had, uh, we knew Europa FM for one year. We did small campaigns. So when we got them to do one day campaign, a big one, they were on with everyone in their team with us. Clear and short message, just one sentence. Say less to say more. Choose VIPs to talk about you. The VIPs don't have to be very important but they have to understand your cause and they have to be there with you. It's all about friend raising. It's all about having friends that help you. They are not your partners, they are your friends because you are helping others. You're not doing actually your business. That's the, from my point of view, the most important things uh, in the NGO. Keep the campaign in the middle of the spot, not the NGO. That's the most important from a fundraising point of view because the people actually give you money for one thing. If you explain them better the thing, then it's, <laughs> it will be much helpful. Talk to friends, not to donors. Pre be proactive, not reactive during the campaign. So you see someone is not happy about your ad, change it, take it out. You have to be prepared for that. That's why when we have campaigns, our team actually grows during the campaign. Uh, evaluate, evaluate, evaluate to change what is unsatisfactory and learn from your own mistakes. We love to do mistakes because that means we are always learning, so that's why we do the first things. Even though they are not, they don't turn out that <coughs> way, we still, uh, we still have things uh, to do. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes? <laughs>